Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them, because you helped me to make them. Your loving Daddy. The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that, puffing down the track? It's Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the island of Sodor! Today on the island of Sodor, we find out what happens when Henry doesn't feel very well. And we watch when Emily gets to pull the express. First, Thomas has to collect a very special special. It had been a stormy night on the island of Sodor. Telegraph poles had blown down. Tiles had blown off the station roofs and branches had fallen onto the lines. All over the island, the storm had made a terrible mess. Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. The storm has caused confusion and delay, he boomed. So you must all be really useful engines. I'll be the most useful engine, boasted James. No, I will, sniffed Gordon. I'm the fastest. I'll do the most journeys. Thomas hoped he could finish his special delivery as quickly as possible. He wanted to do the most journeys and be the most useful engine of all. Soon, all the engines were steaming away from Tidmouth sheds. James went to Knapford Yard to pick up the workmen. Gordon went to the goods yard to collect telegraph poles. Toby trundled to collect new roof tiles. And Thomas steamed over to Marin Station. Farmer McColl was waiting for Thomas. Next to him were boxes and boxes of newly laid eggs. These fresh eggs are needed across the island, said Farmer McColl. The station staff quickly loaded Thomas's freight cars with the eggs. And Thomas was raring to go. My eggs must be delivered safely, said Farmer McColl. So I am coming to make sure you go slowly and carefully. Slowly, wished Thomas sadly. He wanted to finish his job quickly and make lots of journeys. 
Thomas gave one sad toot of his whistle and slowly pulled away. Thomas trundled on. He huffed and puffed as gently as he could. Thomas had to stop at a crossing. Gordon steamed by. Fastest and best, he chirped. Gordon looked very happy. Thomas felt very sad. Thomas pulled into Maithwaite Station. 